All right, everybody, welcome back to class. This is uh, going to be my uh, my grammar hour for this. Uh, well, we're going to be, it's, it's sort of a grammar mix uh, or slash pronunciation, um, working on plurals as well as the the pronunciation of the s okay because sometimes well not only is it confusing um, how we how we create some words into plurals and others because it's not just like we add an s all the time okay um, sometimes there's an there's an uh, uh, an es okay sometimes the word stays the same or sometimes we change the word completely okay and there's an, another form for the plural right now the other confusing part is how we pronounce that s if there is an s at the end is that going to be a voiced s or is that going to be a voiceless voiced is that z sound and voiceless is the s sound okay so we're going to go through and uh, and take a look at the uh, the different pronunciations how we how we uh, um how we determine um how we take take a word and, and make it plural, um, and how we uh, how we pronounce those words. Okay, so let's see who at who we have in class. First off, this is uh, Amart. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Um, how is uh, how's school going for you? Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Did you do you have uh, classes today? Yeah, the, right. the the weekend uh, start to, to tomorrow. I have to go to 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 school tomorrow, but in end of school the weekend is begin. Weekend begins. Friday. Yes, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> do you have uh, Do you have any plans for the weekend? Actually, no. I uh, I like to do the s same th th thing. Okay. All right. You yeah, like yeah. Uh, okay hey, having patterns. Okay, and yeah. and uh, doing the same type of things. That's that's wonderful. I I like that as well. I like having patterns and consistency. All right. Excellent. Well, welcome uh, welcome to the class, Amart. Good to have you back. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Let's see who else we have. We've got uh, uh, now. Is your name Din or is it uh, Tran? Uh, my name is Din. Your name is Din. Okay. okay make sure that you're you're using your microphone because I can barely hear you. My name is Din. Okay. Uh, Din, where are you from? I'm from Vietnam. From Vietnam. Excellent. Okay, and uh, and then what do you do? I'm a medical student. Okay, uh, uh, can you speak up just a little bit more? I can I can't hear you very clearly. I'm a medical student. Okay, you're a medical student. Medical student. Okay, excellent. Well, welcome welcome to class. It's good to have you here. All right. How about uh, how about Carlos? How are you, Carlos? I'm great, thank you. And you? I'm doing good. Thank you for uh, thank you for asking. Um, now, from what uh, I can't remember your your the country that you're from, but I uh, are you uh, are you a lawyer or are you a teacher? <laughs> Neither. Uh, I I am uh, a veterinarian. I'm from Colombia. Ah. Because I there's uh, there's another guy then that has a whole like series of books that are behind him that is a, that is a lawyer and I'm like oh man I can't can't remember this guy and I think this is the second time you've come in and I've guessed completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So uh, how are you doing? How's everything going? Uh, eh, very good. Very good. Thank you. Very nice. Excellent. Okay. Well, welcome welcome back to class. Good to have you here. Thank you. All right, let's go to Amparo. How are you? Amparo, can you hear me okay? Hi. I'm Hi there. What are you? Excellent. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Now, uh, now this, this class that we're doing right now, everybody, this was uh, specifically requested uh, by Amparo. She said, hey, you know, I uh, I want to learn more about uh, about plurals. You know, if there are any rules, 
Okay, and also the uh, the different pronunciations. So I was like, okay, yeah, let me see if I can put something together. So um, this was a di direct request from uh, from one of the students. So you guys can do the same thing. If there's something specific that you have issues with, okay, let me know. Okay, I currently have uh, three three other suggestions that I'm working on right now uh, in in. Uh, in uh, you know pronunciations or uh, or grammar uh, uh, grammar suggestions. So very good. So I'm 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 excited to do this class today. It should be really good. Awesome. Well, welcome welcome back to class, Amparo. Good to see you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you much. All right. How about uh, how about Adela? How are you? Hi. Thanks. Great. Uh, and how uh, how how was your day today? Anything uh, interesting happen? Uh, more or less. Okay. All right. All right. Well, welcome. Uh, welcome back to class, Adela. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Let's go to uh, Ahmed. How are you? Morning. Hi there, uh, Ahmed. Uh, uh, where are you from? I'm from Turkey. Uh, where is that? Are you? Did you say Turkey? Yes, Turkey. Okay. Uh, excellent. And uh, Ahmed, what do you do? Uh, I'm student. <coughs> okay. What do you study? Chemistry. Chemistry. Excellent. All right. Well, welcome. Uh, welcome to class. Good to have you here. Uh, let's see. We also have uh, Ermilo. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Very good, uh, Ermilo. Mm -hmm. uh, and I believe I've had you. Uh, I've had you in my classes before. Yeah, yes, uh, Ermilo, I can hear you. Sure. Excellent. Now, uh, Ermilo. Okay. Ermilo, uh, remind me what uh, what country are you yeah. from? Oh, you forgot him. Uh, I'm uh, I'm, my guest is Mexico. Ah, you beat me. Yes, my guest was Mexico, but uh, I wasn't exactly sure since <laughs> I was terribly wrong with Carlos here. Um, and so I was like, okay, uh, my brain isn't yeah. working. Uh, my brain isn't working very well. So thinking Mexico, but I wasn't. I wasn't positively sure. So awesome. Well, welcome. Welcome back to class. Good to see you again. Okay, we also have uh, Slim. You, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Ex excellent. How's uh, how's your uh, the your muscle doing? Uh, it's better. Better? Thank Great. Yes. That's good to hear. Awesome, man. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Welcome uh, welcome back to class. Uh, we also have uh, Yasin. How are you, Yasin? Thanks, teacher Chet. I'm fine. Uh, and you? I'm doing good, uh, Yasin. I got your uh, your message that you sent over to me, um, but it was right before I was about to start class. So um, I teach for another uh, two hours, and then I have a break, and I'll I'll answer you then. Okay. Okay. Don't worry, teaching teacher. Awesome. Every time. Awesome. Okay. Very good. All right. It doesn't look like I've missed anybody. We're all here. Awesome. Okay. So. Um, <laughs> stop, <bro. laughs> that's funny. Um, I'll, I'll try and quit. <laughs> All right, very cool. Uh, that's that's good. That's good. Nice joke. Nice one. Um, okay, so uh, for those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Teacher Chad. I am from the United States, but I currently live in Costa Rica. Okay. Um, if you are uh, interested in Facebook pages and things like that, I do have a uh, a teacher page with Verbling. Okay. You could also follow me on Verbling. Okay. Either or is great. I like to hear hear from my uh, my students. Uh, like I was mentioning before, this class is uh, was specifically requested by by Amparo. Um, she was wanting to know about plurals. Okay. Uh, also the uh, voiced and voiceless s sound. All right, so we're going that's what we're going to be working on this hour, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, uh, let's uh, let's start off first. Okay, we're going to go we're going to start off first with the rules, okay? Uh, the the rules of uh, of uh, uh, changing a word to plural, okay? 
And I've got, uh, I think I've got about four different documents here, um, and we'll we'll be going through all of them. We'll go through the rules, then uh, then pronunciations, and then I have a, a couple of a uh, couple of practice pages. Okay. Okay. This uh, this link here. Uh, this link here is the is to the rules page. Okay. So when you open that up. Okay, this is what you'll see. Okay, all right, and this is a this is a uh, a, a great page for you to have. It uh, explains um, the rules clearly. Okay, and we are going to talk about regular and irregular uh, plurals. Okay, um, it isn't a, a list of all the um, irregular plurals. Okay, but it has a it has a good chunk of them. Okay, so. Um, let's go ahead and uh, and start reading. Uh, this hour we're going to start over on the right hand side uh, with uh, Yasin. Yes, teacher, I'm here. And uh, Yasin, uh, let me have you read. Let me zoom in just a bit. Okay, let me have you read this this first this first box where it says uh, for most nouns just add s. Okay, let me have you read singular and and plural and uh, read everything in both of those co columns. Okay, teacher. Uh, the rules of regular and irregular plurals. For most nouns, just add s. Singular uh, and uh, can I say singular plural, singular and plural, or uh, only singular uh, and a singular and plural? And uh, all you would need to do is just read the words, and that would be fine. Okay, singular hand, uh, plural hands. Singular rabbit, plural rabbits. Singular k. Plural key, 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 keys. 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 Yeah, yep, keys. good. Uh, clock, clocks. Football, 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 footballs. Doors, mm -hmm. doors. Good, thank you very much. Okay, uh, oh, wow. let's go to uh, Slim. Yes. All right, so um, let's talk about uh, uh, this next box here. Go ahead and read through that, please. For the noun ending in uh, S, X, Z, C H or S H. Uh, we added uh, E S in the in the last, like box boxes, beach, beach, beaches, wish, and wishes, boss bosses, buzz, buzzes, glass glasses. Good. Now, class. Um, uh, recently, I taught my E D endings class, and uh, and we learned okay that 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 E is silent. Okay, in most cases, except for when it ends with a T and a D. Okay, usually when you see an E at the end of a word, it is silent. Okay, but hallelujah, now we can finally pronounce that that E. Okay, it is boxes, pitches, wishes. Okay, so we pronounce that exactly how it's written with that S sound on on the end. Okay, um, bosses. Okay, buzzes glasses okay and here when we add that es that is going to have a voiced s sound at the end that will sound like a z okay boxes pitches okay uh, here when we're talking about um, just adding an s sometimes it sounds like an s other times it sounds like a a uh, uh, sorry it sounds like a uh, the voiced s other times it's voiceless okay hands Rabbits, that's an S. Keys, that's a, that's that Z sound. Clocks, back to S. All right, so it just depends. All right, and we'll go over those rules in just a bit as well. Okay, so ending with S X Z C H or S H, we add an S or an E S. Okay, good. All right, let's go to uh, Ermilo. Okay, uh, please read this next column here. Ermilo, can you hear me okay? Okay, uh, let's go to uh, Din. Okay. This uh, this column right there, that that box. Please read that. 
the penthouse, blue red tomatoes, 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 blue red This would be echo, echo, and echoes. Echo. Banjo, banjos. Okay. All right. Very good. So thank you very much, uh, uh, Din. Okay. So this is for some words. Okay. Not all words, but some words. Okay, let me have uh, let me have everybody mute your microphones, please. We're we're, we're getting a. Uh, um, we're getting some uh, some disturbance coming through. Can I have everybody please mute your microphones? All right, I can't figure out where it's coming from. Okay, all right. So this is this is for some words. Okay, not all words. Okay, remember when we're adding that es, that's going to have that voiced s sound. Potatoes. Okay, with that z. Okay, tomatoes, heroes, echoes, and banjos. All right. Here we would not we would not pronounce that that e. Okay, we go straight to an o sound. Okay, so if our if our singular word is potato. It's like we are adding an S, and all we're doing is, is pronouncing that S at the end. So it's not like glasses, where we would pronounce that ES, but we would go straight from an O sound to a Z sound, potatoes. Okay? Um, all right. Yeah. Let, oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Uh, again, if your microphone is not muted, let me have you uh, please mute it, okay? Because that, that sound is really loud. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go to my next reader, Carlos. Yes. All right. Um, uh, Carlos, let me have you read the next box, please. However, for some words ending in O, just at S. Cello. Cellos. Mm -hmm. Disco. Discos. Hard. Hardu, hardus. Logo, logos. Patio, patios. Photo, photos. Piano, pianos. And radio, radios. Good, good. Now, um, uh, this list over here is a pretty, uh, a pretty good list of the uh, plural words where we, uh, where we add an es to the ending of that o. Okay, there may be more, but these are the most common. So it would be good to learn these. Okay, um, the rest of them, if they have an O at the end, we just add an S. Okay, and here that S sounds like a Z. Cellos, discos, hairdos. Okay, we would not say hairdos with an S sound, it's a Z sound. Logos, okay, things like that. Okay, excellent. All right, let's, uh, let's scroll down and we're going to talk about F endings. Okay, this is for Amparo. Please read uh, this uh, this box. For some words ending in F, change the F to a V and add ES. Have, have, love, love, L, L, leave, leave, bell, Shelf, 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 thief, thief, wolf, wolf. Good, good. Now these uh, these can be some of the most complex uh, words to yeah. say in in English because we have the L, then we have the V, and then that S is a Z sound. Okay. Notice as well, when Amparo was reading through here, she did not say Lovez or Elvez or Shelvez, okay? We do not pronounce that S sound, okay? Remember, our uh, pretty much our only time when we pronounce that S sound is, okay, plural words ending with these endings, okay? Boxes, pitches, okay? 
The other times we go straight to an S sound, okay, or that uh, voiced S. So leaves, leaves, okay, shelves, okay. So uh, let's check out uh, some other words ending in F. And this is for uh, Amar. Yes. Okay. Um, wife, wives, life, lives, knife. Oh, um, knife. Uh, over, over, over to the right. This one right here, ending in F. Okay. Chef, chefs, cl clev, clevs, ref, refs, rof. Rolfs. Awesome. All right. So whoever just muted your microphone, a million thank yous. <laughs> I don't know who it was. I couldn't figure it out. But yes, the sound is now gone. All right. Thank you. Um, okay. So uh, notice when uh, um, Amar was reading here, okay, this S, okay, that sounds like a voiceless S sound. Okay. Chef, chefs. Okay, it wouldn't be chefs. Okay, it's chefs with that voiceless s. Okay, so if we don't have an es at the end, okay, we pronounce that like an s sound. Okay, good job, Amar. Thank you. All right, uh, let's talk about some other words ending in f, and we'll go to Ahmed. Uh, please read uh, uh, this box here. Ahmed. Okay, let's go to Adela. Adela, let me have you read uh, this yes. box here. Uh, yes, for some nouns ending in knife, uh, change the F to a B and then add a S. Wife, wife. Live, live. Knife, knife. Okay, so these words would be wives with a, with wives. that s at the end, wives. Okay, uh, uh, lives or lives. Okay, knives. and knives. Okay, knives. good. Yes, yeah, so that has that s at the end. So those are are words that end in if. Okay, all right. Okay, um, okay let's uh, let's check out con this this next grouping here. Okay, this is for uh, Yasin. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Go ahead and uh, read, uh, read this box. Okay, uh, for common nouns that end with constant plus uh, Y, change the uh, Y to an I, uh, I and then add ES. Uh, poppy, poppies, fly, flies, penny, pennies, spy, spies, nappy, nappies, uh, sty, styes. Good, good. Yes, and you're absolutely correct. If that Y what? makes a uh, makes a long I sound like sty, okay, we would not change that to stees. All right. If it's sty, okay, the plural would be styes. Now here, uh, this word is nappy. Okay, uh, we would not then change that to nap eyes. Okay, it would be nappies. Okay, uh, very good. Uh, let's go to uh, our, these are our last two groupings, okay? And this is for Slim. Slim, let me have you read uh, this group right here, please. Okay. Some nouns are the same in both singular and plural form. form. Singular, okay. Fish, fish. I have a problem to read the, from your screen, teacher. Sheep, sheep. Deer, deer. Tuna, tuna. Salmon, salmon. Toot, toot. Okay, that last one would be trout. Trout? Trout. Trout. Good. Excellent. So, when we are talking about fish, okay, these are, these are words that, uh, that are both uh, singular and plural. There are many fish in the ocean. 
Okay, what uh, would you like a piece of fish? Okay, a piece of fish. All right, uh, sheep. Okay, my father has many sheep uh, in his field today. Okay, we brought in uh, one of one of the sheep uh, to shave it. Okay, so things like that: deer, tuna, salmon, and trout. Okay, they're both singular and plural. Okay, now let's uh, let's talk about when we change the form completely. Okay, of the word. Uh, this is our last section, and this is for uh, Ermilo. Ermilo, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, for okay, let nouns, me have you read. Go ahead. For some nouns, change other letters. I'll just change the word completely. Person, people. Child, children. Ox, oxen. Foot, feet. Tooth, teeth. Goose, geese. Mouse, mice. Louse, lice. Man, men. Good. Thank you very much. Okay. And this is a this is a pretty good list of the most popular uh, the most popular uh, 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 words that uh, uh, where the word changes completely. Okay. Uh, more often than not, okay, we have uh, a child and children. This one throws people off uh, many times. Okay. We would not say childrens. Okay. An s does not belong at the end of that word because it is already plural. Okay, changing from person to persons. Okay, it would be people. Okay, these are two of the most common mistakes when we're talking about uh, going from uh, singular to plural and from plural to singular. Okay, so remember, an S does not belong at the end of children, and neither at the end of person. To make person plural, we say people. Okay, and children is already. Um, already plural, so we do not need the S. Okay, so class, any questions up till this point? Any questions for me at all? Nope, not so much. Okay, all right. Let's uh, let's go to our our next um, our next practice. We're going to talk about the voiced and unvoiced. Uh, S sounds okay. So um, you heard me talking a little bit about that Z sound, which would be the voiced saying Z, okay, and other sounds, okay, which would be that uh, the unvoiced, which is the S sound, okay. So we're going to discuss the rules of when one is uh, pronounced over the other, okay. All right. So uh, uh, let's go to my uh, my next reader. Uh, oh yes, uh, thank you, Slim. I did not. I did not put that in there. Um, Slim, uh, put the uh, the link in the uh, verbling chat box. Okay, because I wasn't I wasn't paying attention, and uh, Slim's got my back. Thanks, buddy. All right, man. Uh, let's go to uh, let's go to uh, Dim, Din, and okay. Um, we're going we're going to talk about. Okay, uh, some of the rules here. So we're going we're going to come down here and and uh, read through these. Okay, okay. So let me have you read these uh, uh, these different uh, different examples. Go ahead and read that, Din. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, Carlos. Yes, Carlos. Let me have you. Let me have you read. Uh, read through this, please. Uh, uh, anonymous or? Um, no, you're, you're gonna you're gonna come down. So the anonymous was a it was a question that someone had asked. Okay, and uh, and so this is this was our answer here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and, and read through uh, uh, read through this answer. From Cool Breeze? Yep, right here where it says there are some rules. Okay, there are some rules. These apply to the final plural S and the third person singular S in verbs. The, the S is voiced after E, voice sound. All vowels are voiced and also B, D, A, L, 
M-N-B. He dreams about it every day. And his dreams are incredible, incredible. Uh, he calls me every day. He likes rose buds. I have two watches. Okay, these next two here. Okay. He knocks on my door daily. I hate cats. Good, all right, and that's when we have that S sound, okay? Now, um, it's important to remember, class, first off, okay, all vowels, all vowels are, um, are voiced, okay? So whenever we have a vowel, which is uh, A, E, I, O, U, Okay, and uh, Y would be considered a vowel, but it changes to an I. Okay, once you have, um, once you put an ES at the end. Okay, after each vowel, okay, we would pronounce the voiced, uh, voiced S sound. That is that Z. Okay, so I want to go through and practice the Z sound. Okay, it's a difficult sound to, to, uh, to uh, get, but I want to practice that. I want to make sure everyone gets it because that S sound, uh, that is simple for most of you, saying S, but it's the vibration that we need to work on, okay? So let's start off with, uh, with Amparo. Amparo, uh, give me that Z sound. So all I want you to say is Z, Z. Try that. Z, Z. Good, okay. Uh, Amar? Let me have you try that as well. We're going to say Z, Z. Z, Z. Good. Okay. Uh, Ahmed, let's practice that. Z, Z. <coughs> Z, Z. Good. Thank you. Okay. Adela, let's, uh, let's have you practice that. We're going to say Z, Z. Z, Z. Okay. Let's try that one more time. We're going to get that vibration there. Z. Z Z. Z, 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 There you go. That's it. Okay. So, uh, class, what your tongue is doing? Okay. Uh, goodness. Okay. So, what uh, what your tongue is doing here? Okay, is that it's it's curved in the back. Okay. So uh, your 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 tongue is kind of like this, and it kind of curves at the bottom. It's not touching the top of your mouth. Okay, um, and it's not touching your teeth. Okay, it's right before your teeth. So let's say these are your your bottom teeth. Your tongue is coming in kind of like this. Okay, and it's uh, it's uh, touching the sides of your teeth, but not the front of your teeth. Okay, and that's how we get that vibration. The air flows over the tongue, and then your tongue vibrates. Z z. Okay, so that's how we pronounce that sound. Okay, you do not want your the tip of your tongue. Okay, right there. It does not touch your teeth. The sides of your tongue are touching your teeth, though. Okay. All right. Let's go to uh, Yasin. Let's have you practice that Z sound. Let's say Z Z. Z Z. Good. Okay. Uh, Slim. Let me have you practice that Z Z. Z Z. Good. Okay. Uh, Ermilo. Let's practice that sound Z Z. Z, Z. Good. Okay. Um, Din, let me have you practice that sound. It is Z, Z. Z, Z. Okay. Uh, give it to me one more time. Z, Z. Z, Z. Good. Thank you. All right. And Carlos, last one. Z, Z. Z, Z. All right. Let's practice that. Let's get that vibration there. Z, Z, Z. Z, Z. Okay, the first one was good, okay? It's getting back to it, all right? So we're going to say Z, Z. Z, Z. Good, okay? Now we, the second one was good, okay? <laughs> yeah, so you're, sure. so you're bouncing, okay? It's, it's, really, okay. it's really difficult, but you can do it, okay? So we're going to say Z, Z. Z, Z, Z. There you go. That's it. Excellent.
Okay, good job. Thank okay. you. Okay, uh, yes. Thank you. Yeah, it is like the sound of a bee. Uh, yes, it would be it'd be like the sound of a bee. Z buzz. Okay? Good, thank you. All right. So, okay, that's how we how we pronounce the voiced. Okay, that is the voiced S sound as well. Okay, voiced S. So um, when you have words like is, okay, you hear that vibration. It's very slight, but it's there. Is, is, okay. And uh, when Carlos was reading the word dreams, okay, dreams, okay, we don't say dreams, okay, with an S sound, it's dreams, okay. It has that, that uh, vibration, okay. So let's take a look at our rules one last time, and then we're going to go to some practices, All right, so after all vowels, A, E, I, O, and U, okay, the, the uh, S is voiced. It's that Z sound. Also, after letters B, D, L, M, N, and V, okay, that's when we have the, uh, the voiced S as well, okay? All right, that's why in, uh, in certain words, like down below, we have uh, position and acquisition because they follow vowels. All right, it works in the middle of words as well. Okay, position and acquisition. Okay, all right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go to our, our first exercise. Get rid of that. Okay, so we're going to go to plural. Okay, so plural, singular to plural exercise number one. Okay, oh, I beat you, Slim. <laughs> All right, just barely though. Okay, go ahead and uh, go ahead and open that up, class. Okay, and uh, when you do, this is what you're going to see. And give me one second. I think this is my deal here. Okay, uh, so we're going to start off with uh, with Amparo. Okay. And we're going to go through. Okay, yeah. So this is number one. Okay, uh, so we're going to go through. Uh, uh, let's do let's do about three three each. I have uh, two uh, two exercises. We've got about twenty minutes left. Ah, uh, sorry. Give me one second. Let me get back. Dang it! All right. Okay, so Amparo, let me have you do uh, the first three here. So we're going to be switching the uh, um, uh, the noun the from uh, from uh, single singular to plural. Now, if it's already in uh, in uh, um, plural. plural, then we're going to switch it back to singular. Okay, so go ahead and, and okay. take a look at the uh, first uh, the first three. Of green, of green. Okay. Club. Uh, Offspring, offspring is actually one of those, okay, where it uh, it is uh, singular and plural in the in the same, okay, in offspring same. Okay. and okay. offspring. Okay, offspring. Okay. okay. Uh huh. Club, club. Good with that Z sound, right? Clubs. All right. How about number three? Window, window, windows. Good, good. Window and windows. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's go uh, to number four, five, and six. Uh, this is for uh, Amar. Okay. Stables. White birds. Okay, so uh, 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 if this is staples, okay, uh, what would be the, uh, the singular form? 
Stable. Uh, yeah, so staple. S stable. Okay, and uh, all right, number five, please. White birds. Okay, what would white, be the singular form? White bird. Good, okay. Logos. Mm -hmm. uh, Lug. Okay, and this would uh, this would actually just be a uh, logo. So we have logos and logo. So here uh, we would not need to add an es to the end of this word. Okay, it would just be an s. Okay, uh, how about uh, how about numbers seven, eight, and nine? And this is for uh, Ahmed. Yes. Numbers seven, eight, and nine, please. Seven, nine. Skiff, matches, washes. Okay, so here, uh, if 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 skies is plural, skies. how would we change that to singular? <clears throat> skies. Is. Okay, uh, skies is actually plural. All right, so uh, if skies is plural, what is the singular? Take Sky. a look at, yeah, there we go. Good, good. How about uh, the next word, number eight? Match. Okay, good. Yes, yeah, so matches and match. Okay, so yeah. with this word, um, I still want you to repeat that, uh, that plural so you, you know on this word when it ends with a ch, we do pronounce that uh, that es sound, so it's matches. Okay. How about number nine? Bushes. Good. Yes, that is bushes. Okay. Bushes. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Let's go to uh, Adela. Yes. And uh, Adela, ten, eleven, and twelve, please. Teacher, a question. Sky. Sure. Number. Sure. Number seven is skies. Is e s e Easy sound. Sky. Yes, because uh huh. Yes, because um, it, they are vowels. Skies. Okay. okay? Yeah. Whenever you add an e s, mm -hmm. okay, you're adding an e s. That will give you a voiced s sound. Okay. 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 Thanks. Okay. Sure. Thanks. No problem. All right, uh, Adela. Numbers ten, eleven, and twelve, please. Calves. Calf. Good. So calves. Now that L is going to be silent, Adela. So instead of saying calves, we say calves. 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 Okay. How about dwarf. number eleven? Dwarf. Dwarf. Okay. We need an S sound at the end here. So uh, it would be dwarf with an F, and then dwarves with a V and a voiced S. Dwarf. Dwarves. Okay, let's try it one more time. Yeah, it is. It's super difficult. Okay, let's try it one more time, Adela. Uh, dwarves. Dwarves. Dwarf. Dwarf. Dwarves. There you go. Okay, one more time with dwarves. Dwarves. Dwarf. Dwarves. Okay, getting closer. All right, very good. Let's go to number 12. Theories. Theory. Good, yes, and that goes to theory. Theory, theory. Okay, now that S at the end of the word is a Z sound, so we need to say theories, theories. Theories, theory. Okay, give me a Z sound at the end, theories, theories. Theories. Okay, theories. getting close. Okay, getting closer, getting closer. All right, all right. Let's uh, uh let's go to Yasin. Yasin numbers thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, please. Button, buttons. Uh, volcano. Uh, I don't know. Vo volcano, volcano is. For example, potato, potato is. Okay. Um, uh, but even when we say potatoes, okay, we wouldn't pronounce that e s sound. Okay, uh, volcano would be the same. Uh, all we would say is volcanoes. 
Volcanoes. Okay. Volcano, volcan volcano is. Okay. Now, um, at looking at this word, you can you can add an es or just an s to the end of the word. Okay. Um, I've always learned it with an es. Okay. But they in the answer key here, they say that you can pronounce that or uh, you can write it with uh, with an s like that as well. But I have always learned it with an uh, oes at the very end. So volcanoes. Okay. 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 All right. Let's go to our uh, our next one here. Okay, teacher. Now I'm looking. Uh, try tries. Good. Yeah. Yes. Try and tries. Good. Try. Thank you. Let's go to uh, Slim. Uh, Slim numbers sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen, please. World's world, woman, woman, uh, woman. And barracks, barrack. Okay, good. Yeah. So let's take a look at uh, women and women. Okay, this is a uh, uh, an interesting uh, an interesting word. Okay, so uh, women. Okay, so it's if it's plural. Plural is is that. Okay, but we actually pronounce it like this. We say. We, women, women, women. Okay, women, okay. woman. Yes, and, and and the other one is wo, woman. Okay? okay, so if it's singular, we say wo, woman. Yes. Woman. Okay, woman. woman. Okay. Okay, it's it's very strange, but that's how we pronounce the the two words. Okay, so uh, women for plural and woman. For singular, okay, woman, okay, good. And then yes, you're right, barracks and barrack, okay, good job, thank you, Slim. Okay. All right, let's go to uh, Din. Uh, let me have you read numbers 19, 20, and uh, 21, <coughs> please. Back. Uh, yeah, Din, uh, please read numbers 19, 20, and 21. Okay, you'll need to speak up. Speak loudly. Okay, that's going to be memos. Okay, that, yeah. Mosquito, mosquitoes, and face goes to faces, just like that. Excellent. Faces. Yeah, that's faces. Faces. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Din. Okay, and let's go to Carlos. Carlos, let's uh, let's check out numbers 22, 23, and 24, please. Um, serious. Uh, Siri. Uh, yeah, so Siri's oh. in, in Siri. Okay, that's going to be tooth. So teeth, tooth? we have many teeth, teeth and, and tooth? Uh, one tooth. Yes, correct, tooth. Tooth. Trenches. Trench? Yeah, good, good. So trenches and trench. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, Amparo. Uh, numbers 25, 26, and 27, please. Stars and star. Good. Knife, knife. Models, no, models and models. Good. So, yes, mottos and uh, motto. Okay. Models uh, so you, like a Z sound. Yep. Because, mottos. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah so let's uh, let's practice knives. Knife, 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 and knife. Yeah. There we go. So knives. So I I slide my my teeth. I slide it back quickly. Knives. So that knives. V is there, but it's really it's really quick. Knives. Uh, okay. Knives. One more time. Knives. Knives. 
Okay, good. You're getting closer. One more time. Knives. Knife. Almost. One, one last time. One last time. Okay. Knives. Knife. Okay, good, good. All right, much better. All right, let's go to <clears throat> let's go to Ahmed. Yes. And let me have you do number uh, numbers 28, uh, 29, and 30, please. Yes. Uh, what was it? Uh, 28, 29, and 30, please. Uh, yes, yes. 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 Okay. Uh, yes. The plural, yes, there you go. It's leaf. Leaf. Uh, un handkerchief. Okay. All right. So if this is handkerchiefs. Handkerchiefs. Okay. Um, our singular would be what? Handkerchief. Handkerchief. Yeah. Good. Handkerchief. Good. All right. Yeah. How about number thirty? Um, buses. Bus. Good. Buses. Bus. Okay. Excellent. Okay, let's go to um, Adela. Yes. And okay. let me have you uh, do, let's see, numbers. 31, 32, no? Yeah, 31, 32, and 33, please. Gallery, galleries. Good. Trios, trio. Okay, so it'd be trios and trios, trio. Trios and trio. Good. Moose and mice. Okay. So this would this would not not be like mouse. Okay. Mouse. This is a moose. Okay. We have moose and we have moose. Okay. It's the same word. Uh, this is moose. Yeah. Mooses. Mooses. Uh, it wouldn't be mooses. Okay. It would just be moose. Okay. Moose. Mouse. Mouse like that goes to mice. Okay, yes. but moose okay, is a all, little different. Yes, it's O and U. Uh, this is double O. Yes. Yeah, this is double I O. Think. So this yes. is both singular and plural. Okay, moose, moose and moose. 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 It would just be moose. Moose. Okay, there are many moose in, in the uh, in the field today. It's it's like the word sheep. Okay, sheep is both uh, singular and plural. Okay. Okay, so we say, uh, I have one sheep, I have many sheep. Okay, yeah. I have one moose, I have many moose. Don't change, no? Yep, don't, it doesn't change. We have some words that are like that, okay? Um, okay. Very good. Let's go to uh, Yasin. Okay, Yasin, let me have you uh, read numbers uh, 34, 35, and 36, please. Okay. Lessos, lesson. Mm -hmm. Critics, critic. Elephants, elephants. Good, good. All right, and uh, our last ones are uh, dinners. Okay, this would not be diners. Okay, it's dinners and dinner. Infernos mm -hmm. and inferno. Okay. Good. All right. Let's uh, let's see. We've got about uh, seven, or sorry, not seven, but about three minutes left or so. Um, are there uh, are there any questions so far? No. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's get in uh, a little bit more practice. Okay. Let's go to a singular plural exercises number two. Ah, Slim beat me this time. <laughs> There you go, man. Awesome. Yeah, so uh, the link is in the chat box. Okay, go ahead and, uh, and open that up, and we'll, uh, we'll see if we can get through some more exercises here. Okay, uh, my last person, that was uh, Yasin, so let's go to Slim. Yes. Uh, boy, okay, boys. so let me have... Mm-hmm. E keys. Mm -hmm. Fax, fax, faxes. There you go. Know. Faxes, faxes. Oh. 
Okay. So, and that's with an ES, and that's when we uh, we pronounce that uh, that ES sound. Okay, remember with an X, faxes. Okay, good. Uh, let's go to Carlos, uh, numbers four, five, and six, please. Okay, apostrophe, apostrophos. Okay, and, and this would be apostrophe. Apostrophe and apostrophes. Good, yep, just like that. Poppy, poppies. Good. Light, lights. Excellent. That was great. How about numbers seven, eight, and nine? And this is for Amparo. Penny, pennies. Mm -hmm. Wall, walls. Trench, trenches. Good. Yes, that's trenches. Okay, excellent. Trenches. Okay, let's go to, uh, let's see, numbers 10, 11, and 12, please. Ahmed. Yes. Numbers 10, 11, and 12, please. <coughs> Gauss, gauzes. Face, faces. Mm -hmm. For, uh, for All right. Well, here, this S, or the, the E is going to be silent. Okay. So, yes, it would be gases, faces, but here, this would be phones. Four. Yes. Okay. Four. Very good. Okay. How about uh, number 13, 14, and 15? This will be our last uh, last three. Um, Adela. Yes. Uh, Daisy, daisies, lunch, lunches, pulley, pulleys. Good. One more time. Pulleys. Pulleys. Good. Excellent. All right, you guys. Well, thank you, uh, thank you very much for uh, for coming to class this uh, this hour. I hope it cleared up um, when, uh, what kind of endings we put to, to make uh, make a word. What kind of endings we put on the end of a word to make it plural? Okay, as well as how we pronounce those endings. Okay, as well as uh, if we don't do anything to the word or if the word completely changes. All right, so keep those uh, uh, keep those lists that I gave you. Okay, and you can refer back to them. All right, and uh, I will be giving this class um, about uh, two more times today. So one, one more time in the afternoon or my afternoon, and then one more time at, at uh, my night, which may be your morning or afternoon, depending on where you live. Okay. Um, Thank if you, you very are, much uh, for the class, teacher. Sure, no Thank problem. You. My pleasure. Um, again, if uh, if uh, you have any suggestions, this uh, this here was a uh, suggested class by Amparo. Um, please uh, send me a message on Facebook. Okay, you can follow me on Facebook or uh, or on uh, Verbling as well. Okay, I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, you guys. Thanks. We'll see you later. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Chuck. Bye. Bye.